busted pipes, frozen pipes, ice-filled pipes. You need a plumber? Good luck. These guys are a little busy. I, I normally let the ladies in the office take care of this because they, they're in the office. I'm out in the field right now trying to trying to get, get water back onto people's businesses and houses. We have close to 90, 98 jobs on our schedule for today. Obviously, we're not going to do them all. You're not going to do them all? No, <laughs> not quite. And the same is true for just about anyone in the plumbing business. Historic and near historic lows have made relatively uncommon problems very, very well, common. Tell, See, this uh, is a metal pipe. This is brass. It was a valve. Completely blew the valve apart. So this was threaded into something. It expanded to the point where it literally shot this completely off. Um, so that's what the power of freezing water can do. And that one stop for Jamie Gula of CJ's Plumbing is representative of what he and his fellow seven plumbers have been seeing this week. I have a couple commercial buildings without water and also uh, all broken pipes. Um, some of them without water, some of them have water, but water spraying and leaking everywhere. So trying to get them back up and running. And if you've got a broken ice related pipe, there's no magical wave of a wand that'll fix it, but there is a pretty basic first step. To the best of your ability, if you can't make the repair yourself, if you're not able to or can't get nobody out quick enough, just shut your water off. Um, maybe just turn it on just to use the water real quick and then turn it back off. And even with reduced water pressure, be on guard, says Gula, because the freeze of today might lead to a problem of tomorrow. When the pressure is restored, a lot of people are going to be experiencing a lot of buildup that were in the pipes. And when they contract, all the calcium, rust, and just deposits break loose, get clogged up in the fixtures and everything. So there's going to be a lot of people struggling with pressure issues in certain fixtures for a while after this is done. A couple of the tips before the plumber gets there. If you can, cover up those open areas if your house is above ground. That way, with visqueen or with tarps, you can create kind of a warming effect on those pipes underneath the house. Also, inside the house, open up the cabinets to sinks right below the sinks. That, too, will get some warm air into those pipes as well. Ian Brobridge, Scott Brasnick, KTC TV3.